Hi, it's January 24th, and welcome to the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton. I'm joined here with Grant Dewey and Dan Bingham, the newest member of BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Dan, uh, welcome here. Uh, Grant, why don't you introduce uh, Dan and let uh, let us know what he's going to be working on. Thank you, Mike. Uh, So we're very excited to have Dan join us. Uh, He's the newest member of the Capital Markets team. He's going to help me uh, focus on the secondary um, insurance business, particularly with institutional uh, uh, clients, which we've seen good growth in. So he brings a wealth of experience, 30 years. Uh, He was previously at Goldman Sachs, and uh, we're thrilled to have him. Welcome. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Michael. And it's great to be here. Really look forward to the opportunities um, and think there's uh, a really good um, uh, uh, chance to continue to further the great BAM name. So, uh, Dan, let's throw you right into the fire. You've been here two whole weeks. Uh, What did you see in the interest rate market uh, these these past couple of days? So, um, continued uh, continued theme uh, over the two weeks uh, with the uh, rates continuing to rally. Ten years broke through 175 resistance, um, currently at a 168 yield in the 30-year Treasury, currently at a uh, 213, mostly driven by the flight to quality surrounding the coronavirus. Uh, the municipal market saw a little bit of underperformance uh, this week and in, uh, in rela- related to the ratio underperformance um, largely due to the flight to quality that we're seeing in the rates market. And that's you know still very low absolute interest right. rates and munis, uh, still a lot of those advancer fundings and taxable advancer fundings we've seen over the last couple of months remain on track. Um, what did we see the last week was uh, delay, uh, shortened a little bit by the Martin Luther King Day holiday on Monday, uh, a little bit over $6 billion of volume uh, was priced. What did you see in uh, BAM insured? Well, we had a good week. We had 100, did $138 million in total insurance, uh, given $6 billion week is about half of what we were seeing um, at, in the fourth quarter or actually really the second half of 2019. So relatively uh, relatively low volume week. Um, I think next week uh, should pick up a little bit. I think 6.7 billion is what, is what we're looking for. Uh, and also likely to pick up in the BAM insured sector. Uh, BAM's uh, planning to insure a $109 million transaction for the Penn Hills School District in Western Pennsylvania. And Howard Spumberg, the managing vice president who underwrote that transaction for us, sat down with me recently to talk about it. Howard, thanks for joining us to talk about the largest deal on the calendar for BAM next week, $109 million for the Penn Hills School District. What can you tell us about the district? Well, the district is located about nine miles east of Pittsburgh, and it serves about 3,300 students. In recent years, the district has experienced operating deficits in its general fund, and that's led to a negative balance in the general fund. As a result, district has developed a financial recovery plan under the guidance of a state-appointed chief recovery officer. Together with that plan, the bonds that are being sold are going to generate substantial savings for the district. Great. And these bonds are being sold by Benning and Scattergood, and a BAM credit profile is available on our website for more information. So thanks to Howard for taking the time to talk about that. Thank you, gentlemen, for uh, joining us to talk about the markets. We'll see you next week with our next update. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 